How to create your own custom mob. Step one, give yourself a command block with the following command on the screen. Place it down and you're going to need it to summon the base mob. Step two, summon the base mob. I'm going to use this website called MC Stacker to summon a mob. So we're going to have a zombie that's silent, has 50 health, has 10 attack damage, is always a baby, is never a villager, and can break doors. Iron chest plate, iron leggings, leather boots, a custom color. Feather falling, level 100. Now this is a bit OP, so we're going to make it so you cannot obtain these items. We're going to call this guy the Spider Slayer. In addition to this, we're going to need a tag called Spider Slayer right here, which we're going to need if we want to give it custom abilities. Let's give it an Iron Sword, 100% chance of dropping. Knockback level 2, and Bane of Arthropods level 5. Now we're going to give it a custom head. We're going to type in the word human here in MC Stacker, and I'm going to obtain this head from Fresh Coal and paste it in right here. And then all we have to do is copy our awesome command and just paste it in and press the button to activate it. There we go. So we have our spider slayer here. Let's just kill it to see if it actually drops the loot we want. All right, so we got our iron sword with Bane of Arthropods 5 and knock back too. Great, I'm happy with that. Step three, give your mob custom abilities. So we're going to give this mob a very, very simple ability where it can poison you if you get too close. So we're going to go execute at E tag equals spider slayer. And then we're going to say execute at P R equals five. And we're going to summon an area of effect cloud to do this effect. So let's just go over here and have our area of effect cloud that is a little bit green. Radius, we'll say two. Mining fatigue, slowness, and blindness. Let's copy this and put it in. Make this always active, repeating command block, and bam, there we go. If we get too close, then this guy has a lot of things to say. Step four, give your custom mob even cooler abilities. So we're going to make this custom mob summon a spider every couple of seconds. So we're going to go scoreboard, objectives, add spider time, and we're going to make it a dummy objective. Then we are going to grab our chain command block and go scoreboard, players, add at E tag equals spider slayer, spider time one. And then after that, we are going to reset their score once their spider time score reaches, let's say for this instance, 100 to score, spider time, min equals 100, spider time, back to zero. So if we just go scoreboard objective set display sidebar, spider time, you will see that for that particular mob, the score will go up to 100, and then it will reset. So we're just going to attach another command block here, going execute at E, score, spider time, min equals 50, and we're going to say, spider time also equals 50. So as soon as it hits 50, it is going to summon a spider just above it, like so. So we are going to summon in another one of these guys, stand back so the blindness effect doesn't kick in. And as you can see, he has periodic effects. So thanks everyone for watching this mock-up of creating a custom mob. It is very overpowered. I would never ever release something like this, but I hope you guys understand how I make my custom mobs and you guys can use these things for your maps. Thanks everyone for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care.